Hi all, welcome back to freshersworld.com. My name is Rishmi Elias and in today's video I will be discussing some questions based on the topic combination. I hope this will be helpful for all those who are preparing for various government exams. This video is sponsored by ReLevel and after a small video we will start our classes. Do you want to crack a top MNC interview by just nailing with your coding knowledge? Then ReLevel.com is right for you. No fear of CGPA or certifications to attend the top interviews. Get placed with your ReLevel tournament score in top companies like Urban Company, Razorpay, 1MG, Upgrad, Esco, SuperDaily and many more. The only thing you need to do is just register at ReLevel.com and use promo code BI J10 to get flat 10% off. There are three tournaments being conducted. One is business development and second one is front end development and third one is back end development. There are two rounds in every tournament prelims which contains three challenges and mains which contains two challenges. Remember one thing registrations close on 22nd June 2021 and tournament begins on 26 June 2021. If you clear the mains you will get mentoring sessions from the re-level team to help you with clearing the company interviews. So hurry up check the link in the description below. All the best. Let's see the First question. At an election, there are five candidates and three members are to be elected. And the elector can vote for any number of candidates but not more than the number of members to be elected. Find the number of ways the voter can choose to vote. So, in this question, there are five candidates and three members to be elected. So, the voter or the elector can vote for any number of candidates but not greater than the number of members to be elected. That is, an elector can vote for maximum 3. So, how many possible ways are there? So, how we will get the answer? That is, there are 5 candidates are there, right? Here, there are 3 possibilities. First case is, Five candidates can vote for one member. That is selection of one member from five candidates. That is 5C1. Or if it is or, we have to add it. So five candidates can vote for two members. That is 5C2. Or that is plus five candidates can vote for three members. Now 5C1 is, we know that NC1 is N itself. So 5C1 will be 5 plus 5C2 is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial because we know that NCR is N factorial divided by R factorial into N minus R factorial. And again 5C3 will be 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial. So here 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial. So we know that 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 3 factorial. So here 3 factorial and 3 factorial will get cancelled. So the remaining will be 5 into 4 20 by 2 factorial is nothing but 2. 20 by 2 is 10. In the third part also it is the same itself. 5 factorial by 3 factorial into 2 factorial. That we got the answer as 10. So, in total, how many ways are there? 5 plus 10 plus 10. That is 25 ways are there. Let's see the next question. A student committee of 5 people is to be selected from a group of 4 teachers and 7 students. Find the different ways that the committee can be selected if there must be at least one teacher and there must be more students than the teachers. So, in this question, committee should be consisting of five people. So, we have to select both teachers and students. And the condition is there must be at least one teacher and the number of students must be more than the teachers. In this question, it is said that a committee must be formed which consists of 5 people. There must be at least 1 teacher and number of students must be more than the teachers. So, what are the possible combinations for this student and teachers? First case is 4 teachers and 1 student. 
second case is three teachers and two students third case is two teachers and three students and the fourth case is one teacher and four students but in the question it is said that there must be at least one teacher and number of students must be more than the teachers so we can't use the first and second option because the number of teachers are more than the students so we cannot consider those options so the next possibilities are two teachers and three students one teacher and four students so in both cases we have to find the number of possible ways by which we can form a committee of five people so consider the first case that is two teachers and three students so how many possible ways are there we can select two teachers from total of four teachers right so 4c 2 into how many students total seven students are there out of this three students can be selected so 7c 3 so possible number of ways is 4c 2 into 7c 3 and we know that 4c 2 is nothing but 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 4 minus 2 factorial that is 2 factorial itself so 4 factorial we can write it as 4 into 3 into 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial into 2 factorial 2 factorial and 2 factorial can be cancelled 4 into 3 is 12 by 2 factorial is 2 12 by 2 six ways are there into 7c 3 it is nothing but 7 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 7 minus 3 factorial is 4 factorial into 4 factorial now 7 factorial can be written as 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 4 factorial 4 factorial and 4 factorial can be cancelled and 3 factorial is nothing but 3 into 2 6 so 6 and 6 can be cancelled so the remaining will be 7 into 5 35 so final answer will be 6 into 35 that is equal to 2 10 similarly we can find the number of ways for the second case that is one teacher and four students selecting one teacher from four teachers is 4c1 into selection of four students from seven students is 7c4 we know that 4c1 is 4 itself because nc1 is n so 4c1 will be 4 into 7c4 is 7 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 3 factorial we have already found out the value of 7 factorial by 3 factorial into 4 factorial that is 35 so 4 into 35 is 140 so what is the total number of ways it is in the first case 210 and in the second case 140 so 210 plus 140 is 350 ways are possible so with this we are winding up today's session i hope you understood the concept of combination so we will be coming back with more interesting videos so please do subscribe to our channel for more such videos thank you all